Is it going to shit on everybody's great time if I dare bring up important things now? Is it safe to poke our heads up from this glitch of idiotic banter and see if the coast is clear for adult business-like conversation? Yes, yes, humans! So nice to meet you! And it seems your god tires now. Nate, yada yada, what the fuck ever! Just one question. We followed that green bacon of what I doubt is the aftermath of a successful blow up the sun mission and after a breakneck warp speed journey in which my best fucking friend ever psyched me out into thinking he died yet a fucking again by spelling litter after the gruesome litter of group sauce from his every office. What do I find here? Why? In addition to a pair of humans draped in circus wear and other flippin' gypes locked in goddamn loanlet, it seems we have also chanced upon none other than the great fucking sun itself, which, unless my raw, ruddy gunderplops are still a little groove blurry, strikes me as still being somewhat rather fucking unblown up. So what am I missing here? Dude, chill. Just got hornswoggled with that, so. Oh! Case closed! Okay then, let's start pitching dead pals into the limitless inferno! Mm. My curiosity was totally fucking satiated just then. The sun will never be destroyed, Carcat. I'm sorry, but you are misinformed. Ah! More breathtaking reassurance! Everything will be fine, guys! We were just horns while I was misinformed! Carry on then! Was it the whole point to take out the sun to neutralize Jack? It shouldn't be a problem. Oh no! Then what's the plan now? It's simple. We regroup and then defeat him in person. Oh! Oh! Fucking oh! And here I thought the new plan was going to be something incredibly stupid and suicidal. Did I say oh yet? Because that's the sun I make when I'm fucking relieved! Honk. What? Honk! What does honk mean this time, you whimsical piece of shit? Don't you start with me. Do not start with me. I will get you in the headlock so tight, it will be a miracle if people don't mistake our tussle for an ill-conceived ventriloquist act. I will shoosh you again, so help me God. I will shoosh your clown ass to Shingra Bush at Lannan back and fill your ear with my white hot pale bro spit out. I am full and well prepared to get culinary with you again if you so much as pass gas murderously. Do you understand? Is that what you want? Do I need to calm your fago sticky tent squanting shit down again? Nah, brother. I was just about to all say for you to try and get your settled on on, maybe. Sad. Man, what the hell happened on this meteor anyways? Actually, don't even tell me. Okay! Okay, yeah, I guess you're right. No, you're right. I should relax and breathe. I mean, what are morals for, right? This is how it works. I stop you from killing everybody, then you return the favor and calm me down, and I just breathe like this. Snoo fuck! That sun is bright. Call me crazy, but it's kind of hard to relax within a stone drill's from. Oh, I guessed. The only brightest fucking star any mortals had ever light eyes on! Actually, I was just thinking, it's nice to get a little sun after so long. Sure! That's all well and good for you, but I mean, can this be healthy? Aren't we going to get burned or have a retina scorched by looking at it? Oh god! I think I'm having a panic attack! Car cat, you're embarrassing us in front of the humans. Fuck you! I can't breathe! It's so bright! I need sunglasses or something! Quick! Which one of you awesome dudes has radical pairs of shades I can borrow? One moment.